Hi everyone, my name is Amanda Silver Sister, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, before I get started, I just wanna come on here and thank everyone who's subscribed to my channel and who's been watching and commenting on my video. It completely makes my day. Um, so I have like quite a number of social media platforms. So I have about almost 40,000 followers on my um, Instagram and I have been documenting my gray hair journey and that's kind of how that started. And I've decided to this year in 2023 to branch out into some of my other social media platforms, spend a little bit more time and attention on them. So um, I'm Amanda Silver Sister on Instagram, TikTok. I have a Facebook page and now I'm here on YouTube. And so I just wanted to, before I kind of get into my topic, really say a heartfelt thank you to the people that are already following me. One thing I have learned about my success over on Instagram is the people who start off as your cheerleaders right from the beginning, they are just a real special group of people. You will find that those initial people that showed up for you and supported you, they just stay around. And then you get the privilege of showing up in their lives and you get to know them a little bit better and it is awesome. So if you have amazing supporters here on YouTube, just don't take them for granted because they are really, um, they're kind of priceless. And um, I find that that is, for me, the way that I have gotten success on my Instagram is to not be self-focused, but to be outwardly focused and to really show up and support other people. Okay, so anyways, but that, that's just what I wanted to say and I, I hope you hear that as genuine because, um, yeah, anyways, it's the best part of the social media journey by far. Okay, so I wrote a couple notes down right here uh, because sometimes I lose my train of thought and I wanted to tell you something that I thought of it today regarding my gray hair journey. Um, okay, so I was liking it a little bit today um, going gray to wearing no makeup. And just hear me out, I wanna to explain to you, I have a couple thoughts about the whole thing. So I personally think I look a thousand times better when I wear makeup than when I don't wear makeup. But I do see that there are merits to going makeup free. Um, so when I do decide to go makeup free, my skin feels so much better. And if I have a couple days where I've been able to go makeup free and maybe I ventured out, you know, in my sweats and went to the grocery store, there is something for me in my almost fifties, this year I'll be 50. Um, it feels sort of liberating. And I think the reason is for me that that has that impact. I would never go makeup free or I would never be caught dead in my sweats in my 20s or 30s. There was just this pressure all the time to do your hair, look cute, whatever. And so since I have, um, you know, had those days that I've decided I'm going to go makeup free, I just see, wow, that's kind of freeing. I like that. So I think the same um Thing applies to when you decide to embrace your natural hair color and for me it is obviously white gray silver whatever you want to call this um, and there is also that same feeling as when I go to the store makeup free it's a little bit liberating now I prefer myself with makeup than no makeup and I know there are so many women out there that prefer themselves with dyed hair over non-dyed hair or their natural hair color. And so I wanna talk about that for a little bit. So for me, um, I was very dark. I, I don't know if you can see. I, I think I'm still fairly dark in the back there. I hope that showed some. Um, but for me, I was really dark. And I didn't always go to the salon to up my upgrade my roots, upgrade, touch up, touch up my roots, um, because they came in so fast and furious all the time. I would have been spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars all the time, and it was so frustrating. So I would just go to the you know shoppers, shoppers drug mart or a grocery store, and I would pick up a box dye. Now. I never remembered which box dye I used. I kind of remembered like a little bit, um, but sometimes that box would be out or I'd pick another one. And what I was finding, and then sometimes I even felt like I would pick the same box color and it didn't look as good. And I kind of had this aha moment that, oh, maybe my skin tone is changing or as I'm aging, my texture of my hair is changing or maybe the ability to hold that pigment of the dye was changing. I don't really know, but I just felt like, I often would pick a hair color that was too dark for my skin. And then instead of having the, okay, hiding my roots, 
going to look younger. I guess that was my, my motivation. I didn't want the whites to come out. It had the opposite effect. So I would have this super dark hair. I felt like I was a goth woman. I hated it. Um, and it would take about two or three weeks before I liked it. It was a better color. Then give it another two or three weeks and I had the, the white roots coming again. And so the whole process would start all over again. Um, when I went to a hair salon, I definitely had better success. Um, but like I said, that got really expensive and um, yeah, I didn't want to do it all the time. So I think the same holds true. So again, I'm going to go back to the makeup part. So when I go makeup free, it felt really liberating. But when I choose to wear makeup now, um, I think there are th certain things I have to consider when I wear my makeup. So as you age, I don't know if you've heard, but um, these cream makeups are a little bit better for you. Um, you know, we have wrinkles and we have, um, I don't know, if I, if I put my old foundation on, I, I just, it like sits on my face worse and it maybe emphasizes all the fine lines that I maybe don't want to emphasize. So you can change to a cream-based makeup. Since I've gone gray, I find... I think I'm wearing pink now, um, but you know, sometimes I can go with brighter, brighter lips and I really like that. Um, contouring for me is a big one because I'm very fair skinned. Um, so putting the contour here, um, just kind of breaking up my skin tone a little bit helps. So if I decide to wear makeup, it's not necessarily just the wearing makeup that has its benefits, it's wearing the right type of makeup. So I, I think for women that choose to continue to dye their hair, it may become about how you're dyeing your hair because you need to take into a couple of things into consideration. Your skin tone is definitely changing. Your hair is changing. The texture of your hair, um, you know, the volume of your hair, your ability to hold that pigment, it all changes. So I think my suggestion is if you're gonna choose to continue to dye your hair, um, just to work really well with your hairdresser. And so for me, I just chose to go gray because I feel like my hair is so much healthier. I don't always love my gray hair, I should say that. So I probably love it 90% of the time. And then there's still that 10% of the time where I just feel like I look really tired and really haggard. And I'm pretty sure I just set myself up for some negative YouTube comments about how I still look tired and haggard. Um, but you know what, I like it. I like the freedom with it. Um, but I felt that way when I had brown hair too. It just, you know, if, if I, I'd wake up and sometimes I'd feel a little frumpy and I didn't think it looked good. So the hair color for me hasn't really changed, but just like that liberation that comes from just daring to go makeup free. I think I feel that same way just living with my natural hair color. Um, I no longer have to worry about if I pick the right hair color, if I, um, you know, I, I just feel it is the healthiest that it's ever been. Um, it's not without its issues. You can probably see I'm on a dark background here. I've got a ton of little flyaways. Um, probably the biggest thing that I'm noticing, my husband thinks I'm crazy, but I have definitely fully transitioned to gray now. But this part is so much whiter to me than this end part. And what I didn't really listen to when I was going gray was all the people who told me to not use as much heat on your hair, to make sure you covered up your hair with a hat. Um, and probably the biggest battle that I have is where I'm currently living. I am on well water, which is hard water, and that's really hard on your hair and can um, have some buildup. So I'm finding my hair looks a teeny bit yellow, which I'm not thrilled about, uh, but we are actually moving on. Friday, <laughs> we're moving houses. So um, I won't have hard water anymore. And I'm super curious to see if that's gonna help some of the yellowing of my hair. So anyways, I hope that got my point across. And it's just that there is freedom in embracing your gray hair, much like the freedom when we just decide to go out makeup free or in our sweats and not really care what anyone thinks. I don't, and, and yet there are some people, so my husband would say that I look better without makeup and he prefers that. Um, but I think what ultimately matters is how you feel. We have a lot of social pressures on us as women. And I think some of us are just not entertaining the fact that we could embrace our natural hair color and it could in fact look good. We are, I don't know, indoctrinated to feel the more makeup, the more product, the more hair dye, the longer the lashes, the bigger the boobs, the skinnier you are, that that's all gonna make us look better. But for some of us, as you can see, I mean, some people get work done 
and that's fine if you do that. Um, but like some people like alter their face to look younger and it actually has the reverse effect. So I feel the same thing can happen with the wrong makeup, with the wrong hair color. You can do it and you can do it well, but you can just, so there's just some things to consider if you're choosing um, to keep your hair dye, just like we're choosing um, with our makeup. So I, I think I mentioned already, but I have kind of gravitated away from wearing browns. I like wearing pinks and blues. This black is fine. Um, but I did change my, my wardrobe a little bit since I've been going gray. And I have subtly been changing um, my makeup as well. So just try again. I mean, it takes time to get what looks good on you. And I certainly, <laughs> today's makeup is just everyday makeup. But the brighter lips really help. Um, I find that, um, I mentioned the contour, I think, and then I just need to keep mascara on. Um, I think that's probably the biggest one for me is always having mascara because I'm fair. So if I have everything fair, um, I think it, I would look a little washed out with my, my gray hair. So anyways, that's just food for thought. I'd love to hear what you think to see if that makes any sense. I tend to be a babbler, so I just babble on. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So, oh, see I mentioned as we get older, our hair falls out. There's one right there, case in point. <laughs> um, okay, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. I super appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment down below and I will check your channels out back as well. Um, I really believe in supporting each other on here. There is enough room on here for us all to success, be successful. So, so let's make 2023 as successful for as many people as possible. Um, yeah, okay, chat soon, bye.